students. Summer is here and I want to share something very exciting with all of you today. Have you heard of the Diary of the Wimpy Kids series? It's a collection of hilarious books that follow the adventures of Greg Halfley, the middle grade student. These books are not only funny, but they also help you improve reading skills and take you on a journey through Greg's relatable experiences. Whether you're lounging by the pool or on the road um, trip, these books make great companion this summer. So let me choose one of them and see how fun reading could be. This one might be about the basketball, one of my favorite sports. Let's see if you like it. It's called the Big Shot. Monday. I've heard that athletes are born with special genes that make them good at sports. Well, whatever those genes are, I guess I was born without them. Mom's always saying that everyone who's part of a team has an important role to play. But when it comes to sports, that it seems that like my job is to make everybody else look good. At this point in my life, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to grow up to become a professional athlete. So I'm officially announcing my retirement. The crazy thing is, I used to actually like sports, but that was back in preschool when sports was still fun. The first sports I've ever played was soccer. I didn't know the rules, but neither did any of the other kids. So most of the time it was just pure chaos on the field. Wherever the ball went, we all chased after it. Every once in a while, the ball would pop out of the pack and go into someone's goal. Then everyone would celebrate. Nobody kept score, so you never knew who was winning or losing. And the parents didn't care because they were too busy doing their own things. The referees were middle school kids and they didn't really pay attention to the game either. In fact, the refs didn't even blow their whistles when the ball went out of bounds. So half the time we'd be playing on the wrong field and didn't know it. After the game, we'd always get slushies and junk food at the snack shack. And sometimes we wouldn't even wait for the game to be over to treat ourselves. The coaches were really nice and made sure everyone got a chance to score. And that made everyone feel good about themselves. Back then, I was sure I was going to grow up to be a professional soccer player. I even kept my rookie card in mint condition in case it turned out to be worth something one day. But when we got to kindergarten, everything changed. The refs started using their whistles and they didn't let us do the, kin the kinds of things we got away with the year before. That season, the refs blew their whistles almost every time I touched the ball. So when I was in the game, I'd stand in the corner of the field and pray the ball didn't roll to me. It's not like I was getting a lot of playing time in the kindergarten anyway. The coach only put in kids who were good and the rest of us sat on the bench. Mom told me the reason the coach wasn't playing me because I was his secret weapon and he was saving me for a big moment. But I didn't understand that mom was just trying to make me feel better about myself. So whenever the coach did put me in the game, I'd go out there thinking I was not hot stuff. So did you enjoy it? I really think that you, you want to know what happened next and if Greg had a chance of scoring that big shot in his basketball game that he's going to take eventually. So the choice is yours. Keep relaxing and keep reading. Happy summer.